A quick shout out to the folks at 3D Animation Hub for supporting this video. 3D Animation Hub are the creators of the Two Animate Blender Basic, which is a Blender course for animators. So if you're a Blender artist and you're thinking about getting into animation, learning all the necessary basics and getting up and running with animation within two weeks, then this is the right course for you. This course is composed of several necessary things with 40 plus comprehensive video guides coming from the folks that created Maya and the tree. So for those who are thinking about getting into animation and you're looking for a comprehensive course that will get you up and running with learning how to animate in Blender in less than two weeks, then this is a power packed course that you should consider checking out. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at 3D Animation Hub for making this possible. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. I know we've talked about Blender generators over time and today we have some brand new generators coming from Mako. Mako has created 16 amazing geometry node setup that you would definitely love to take a look at. Now, this setup ranges from bridges to cables, some caustics, some chains, you know, falling particles, ivy, snowflakes, snows, spider webs, and a whole lot more. And yes, if you would like to get this, this is totally free. That is like the best part. And you know, even though that's the best part, there's even a better, better, best part, which is the fact that if you click on the license, this is CC0, which means you can pick this up and use it for anything you want, but commercial, and for personal project. Now, for those who like to get this, once you click on the download button, this will take you over to a mega.nz page where you'll be able to download the whole 16 generators as a zip file. And once you download this, you'll be able to have access to every single thing that you have here. And working with this is super easy. Now, with that said, let's take a look at some of the things that you have here and also how you can explore with them. Now, one of my most favorite ones here is the bridge. So if I simply click and drag that bridge right in here and open it and say, don't save, you see what we have. Now the bridge itself is built in such a way that you can easily customize it. So once you have the bridge selected, press the tab key on your keyboard and you have any of this node selected, you can tap E on the keyboard to actually extend this. And because you know, you're working with curves, you can also move this however you want. You can select this section, move it however you want, you know, you can do some nice things. I love the fact that this whole handle thing now makes a lot of sense in Blender. So once you have that going, if you select the object, you can play with the width. Okay, that looks cool. If you like to play with the height, that is also brilliant. If you're also thinking about playing with the rope height, you can do that as well. And you also have the border mount. So you can play with the border mount however you want. And the best part is once you're playing with the border mount, if you like to make some board missing, you can actually do that procedurally. You see, this starts making a lot of sense. And at the same time, you can see this. And if you think that this is like the best, wait until you see some more stuff. So like we mentioned earlier, there are more things here. The tree one is also something that is just pretty impressive. And one thing for me with the tree one is this, that you have all of the features and all of the things you need for a tree here to, you know, to a certain extent, and you can still see the entire node and tweak it to your liking. So at this point, if we're looking at the branches, you can play with the radius of the branch. You can play with the resolution of the branch. You can play with the amount of the branch. Okay. You see that stuff? Okay. That makes sense. And if you take a look at the modifier section, you will probably not see any parameter that you can tweak, but that is quite easy to work with because at this point, if you like to tweak anything, you can go over to the group input and you can click on, you know, the amount, for example, click, drag and drop it right here. And you can now control this from this section instead of doing that within the graph section of your geometry nodes, which is quite brilliant. So you have all of this. If you like to make some noise scaling, you probably want to play with the resolution of the branches. You know, all these things are right here and you can now explore with them. Particle flow system is also one that is very impressive. So in this case, you have like this particle flow. If you press your space bar, you can see this animating. This can be used for a lot of things and you can play with the flow speed, the rotation speed, and you can also seed this. Now, if you're looking at the particle flow and you're wondering, hmm, how is it that we have a particle flow and we don't have a falling particle? Well, hold your horses because the falling particle is here as well. So this is also cool, isn't it? So from here, if you press the space bar as well, you can get your falling particles and you can play with the turbulence if turbulence is what you're going for. If you're thinking about, you know, the starting that a little bit, throwing in some amounts, you want to get some seedings, you want to get some scaling, you can have all of these things happening here. So with this, you can drop this down. And of course, if you like to have some instances, which is, you know, what you like to use as your particles, 
you can do that as well. So if we stop this and we hold down shift, right click and hold down shift and tap A on the keyboard, go over to where we have meshes, let's get something. You know, we always use Suzanne, but maybe this time we are going to use some cylinders. So I'm going to get that cylinder, scale that all the way down, have this object selected, click right here and select the word cylinder. And there you have it. So we have cylinders and these are just a set of things that you have. You're looking for lighting. Okay. So there is also a very beautiful lighting stuff going on here, which is pretty dope. So you might want to also take a look at this via the renderer. So if I tap Z on the keyboard, go over to the render section. Booyah, you have that. And this doesn't have animation. That is just one thing to you know, keep in mind. But then you can play with the timing and this is just dope. You know, it's just crazy dope. You can also play with the rotation. You can play with the branches if this is what you're going for. And just think about animating this entire thing because if you right click, you can actually add a keyframe and you can animate this to your heart's content. At the same time, there are caustics. So we can bring in the caustic one. And you can see this and the caustic one is pretty nice because you know you need to go over to the render section and see that so you can see all of that caustic going on if you like to play with the index of refraction you can have that if you want to play with the dispersion you can also have that right here and for those thinking about cables and stuff there are tons of things that has to do with curves that relates to cables so you have this going on here if you press the tab key you can have any of this cable part selected and you can move them to whatever you want and the beautiful thing with the cables as well is they have the whole twisting gravity noise thing going so at this point we can add some noise we can add some gravity up and down we can spread this if we want and you can also make some seeds and you like to make these cables go a bit more longer than they are yep just have this within the edit mode tap e on the keyboard and you can move this to wherever you want so that way you can start dragging these cables to wherever you want and you can have fun working with it so this is more like it for those who are thinking about getting and checking out some of these things there's a lot that you can work with do we have the ropes the chains the ivies the spider webs the snow lots of things the music visualizers and all these things are available for you for free. So go ahead and get it right now. A huge shout out to Marco for making this possible. And this reminds me so much about Amandeep. Amandeep is also another creator that actually takes his time to make free stuff. So in case you haven't seen Amandeep before, you can check out some of the free things that Amandeep has here. So you can grab them. And by all means, if you also want to take a look at some of the things he has on his page on Blender Market, you can also take a look at these ones and you know there's a couple of coupons and stuff for those who are thinking about these things in the description tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace